one in eight women in the U.S. will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime, and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we are here to talk about it this morning. Dr. Jessica Hun is here. She's a gynecologic oncologist, and I was just reading that um, it can develop really at any age, mm -hmm. but it's usually as you get older. But, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of women, young women, are finding lumps. It, that's very true. It is definitely more women are diagnosed as they get older, o over the age of 50. But we see younger women all the time that are di diagnosed with breast cancer. And we hear about it because they're, they're young, and it's um, a devastating uh, diagnosis. Well, one of the things that people do is they do the monthly self-exams. But if you were talking to women, at what point should you talk about self-exams, maybe going and getting an MRI, I've had ultrasounds, or that mammogram? Um, Self-breast exams are usually recommended to start at around the age of 20. Okay. Um, it's really important to remember your own risk factors and your own family history when counseling patients about how to screen and how to um, look after their breast health. Um, but definitely at the age of 20, self-breast exams can be started. Seeing your gynecologist and getting clinical breast exams is also important as well. Can I stop you right there and ask you what to look for in those exams? Because I feel yeah. like everyone's heard that, but then what am I doing? when I get in the shower. Right. What am I looking for? And another good reason to see your doctor so they can go through it with you because I think actually having a hands-on, you know, this is what you should be doing in the shower. Um, but what you're looking for is anything abnormal. Um, the breast tissue is fatty and there are, there are lumps and bumps that are very normal and to know what's normal and what's not. So to feel for anything um, that's nodular. Um, nodular, and, what does that mean? Um, anything round and hard. Um, anything that, um, as far as the skin goes, any skin changes that you see, any nipple discharge. Those are all things to look for. Um, and also really important to go and make sure that you're feeling up inside uh, the armpit area to make sure that you're feeling for lymph nodes in that area as my well. My first lump was taken out. It was under my arm. So Very common. I've had three and did you lumps, feel so yeah. it there? Did yeah, you find I was it? 18 and mm. it was really scary. Yeah. There are mm. a lot of risk factors and some of them I, I don't know if I'd heard of before. Can you go through some of the risk factors that you need to be thinking about in your family history? Yeah, um, risk factors, age again is the number one. The older you get, the more chance that you're going to have to develop breast cancer. Um, but other hormonal things, so if you start your periods early, if you're younger when you start your peri periods or when you go through menopause later, um, later than like the age of 55. Um, if you don't have children until later, um, over 30, or if you don't have children, that's also a risk factor. Um, there's some other risk factors. Um, uh, obesity is a risk factor. Um, and your own uh, history of if you've had a breast cancer, you're at higher risk of developing another breast cancer. I had heard um, from a couple friends over mm -hmm. the past several months that you should now get a mammogram at 35 instead of 40 that you should start sooner. Is that true? Um, the recommendations are to start at 40 um, and one to two years at 40 to the age of 50. And then after 50, everyone should be getting them every year. Um, that's also dependent on your history. Mm -hmm. If you've had a family member that's been diagnosed earlier, um, uh, a mother or a sister that has been diagnosed earlier, you will be recommended by your doctor mm -hmm. to start screening earlier. So again, being involved with your physician and them knowing everything about you and about your family is very important to help um, design your care. If you have any questions about breast cancer, you can call the Huntsman Cancer Institute's Cancer Learning Center. It's one 424 2100 and uh, we'll put that on our website too so you can have that number but Dr. Jessica Hun answering questions for us this morning thank you so much you're welcome thank you something inspiring for you coming up next we have a breast cancer survivor fashion show we'll be right back